Okay, how's it going everyone? Fallout, the Fallout TV show is finally here and we are doing a reaction to episode 1, season 1, episode 1, the end. Just for your clarification, of course my experience with Fallout is kind of limited. I'm aware of it as a legendary video game franchise. I know a lot of people speak about especially Fallout New Vegas being one of their favourite games. Uh, I'm aware of the current Fallout 76 as well. Uh, and I know there was another game which was like a sim management sort of game where you uh, were managing your own vault, which actually looked pretty cool. What I'm hoping is that through this TV show, it will make me want to go and check out the Fallout games. Maybe one of the previous ones or the current one with Fallout 76, whichever one it may be. But let's jump into this. I know a lot of people were hyped for this. Uh, the premiere was just yesterday. All the episodes have been dropped on Prime, so I'll be getting through this as quickly as possible. They're all over an hour long, uh, so please do bear with me. But let's jump right in. Fallout TV show. Let's go. Bam. Wow. Alakazam <laughs> ah, Alakazam How can you say, well, yeah, let's, let's just focus on this part when there's nuclear war. Why the hell is Cooper Howard working kids' birthday parties? What else? Our money. <laughs> What'd they say, Dad? And I'm lucky to have such a good helper like you. Here we go, bud. I really like the aesthetic as well hey, honey. of this. Honey. Give a Cooper. Let's get a picture. It's, uh, I don't know what the actual term for it is. It's like futuristic, oh, but old school up. as well. Yeah, you know, given the state of everything, I prefer not to, if that's all right. Why not? That's what you're famous for. Drop yeah. your phone? We gotta, we gotta get this rodeo on the road. I can't thank you enough, Mr. Howard. The pleasure is all mine, ma'am. I hope your son had a lovely birthday. Perfect. Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. Oh, it's, uh, it's grown-up stuff. Back when I was in the Marines, they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, they told us to hold up your thumb just like this. And if the cloud is smaller than your thumb, then you run, well, you run for the hills. Bigger than your thumb? You're already done. They told us not to bother running. You're finished. Do you think it's gonna so the happen? mascot for Fallout does that. That's you see them with their thumbs up. But us cow folks, we take it as it comes, right? Put up your thumb. All right, one piece of cake coming up for my favorite cowgirl. Is it your thumb Sarah. or mine? Oh my gosh. How did you not hear that? First and foremost. How does that not been heard like everywhere? Just stand there with your mouth open, you see that big old thing. Oh, this guy's got a shelter. No room. This is where, when it gets to the end of the world, this is where people's true colours start showing. It's a fact. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I remember seeing this in the trailer. And another one. One more? Oh yeah, you're done. That thing's way too close. That's real scary, man. Imagine you're just there, celebrating your birthday, or your kid's birthday, and you just see like five nuclear bombs just go off. 219 years later. Lucy. I'm an active contributor to the well-being of my community. Repair skills. I enjoy participating in the Young Pipers Association, which keeps me active. <laughs> Science skills. Obviously, mine are nothing compared to my dad's, but I always relish a challenge. The speech skills. My primary passion is teaching American history with a focus on ethics. 
I also participate in gymnastics club, fencing team C, intermediate phys ed, and I dabble in riflery. So I'm not very good. I think they're called uh, pit boys, in right? The stuff time, on their wrist. I enjoy taking walks and watching movies with my dad. <laughs> so taking walks. Also with my dad. You're sitting still. I'm participating in my family book club. We're still trying to get my brother on board. He'll come around when he's ready. My reproductive organs are intact, my hygiene well maintained, and yet I have been unable to find a suitable marriage partner. Oh. At least one I'm not related to. Oh. I have rules about that for a reason. I would imagine there's a lot of them down here, but they, the majority of them would have come from a specific couple. Marriage application approved. Wow. Artificial sky and everything. She was here. Me too. Must be nerve wracking. Your husband could be anybody. I'm aware. And as for his looks, who knows? Big butt, no butt. That's crazy. But of course, it's just superficial concern that what's on the inside of that camera. You don't even see right. them beforehand. He could be a cannibal or just like clams. But to him, Norman. Sorry, man. Gatekeeper. Honestly, textbook tumbler jam. It's gonna take some time to fix. Probably best if we reschedule with the 32s until maintenance and I can. Jet, what's going on? Lucy, I love you. <laughs> I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Oh, that, Jet. Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but it's not a sustainable long term sexual practice, you know? Lee Moldaver, overseer of 32. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, we were sorry to hear of Overseer Jackson's passing in your telegram. When blight hit our wheat, we lost a lot of good people. But this trade will help us get back on our feet. Yeah. Well, as arranged, we offer you seed and parts for machinery. In exchange, we offer you a brooder. I'm Lucy. Do you have a name? Monty. <laughs> and they just get married just like that that was it hi my name is this hi my name is this we're getting married so what's your sperm count that's a very specific question your vaults doctor must check every physical no Sperm is pretty important in perpetuating America. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Good evening and welcome to the proud denizens of Vault 32. To keep the candle of civilization lit while the rest of the world has been cast into darkness. Soon, if our measurements are correct, Radiation levels on the surface are dropping fast enough that the next generation, Lucy and Monty's children, will be able to recolonize. That would be amazing. It reclaimed the surface. Show me to my new home. Oh, she's up to no good. And he feels it. 32's up to no good. Oh, isn't it great? Every big moment of our lives is going to happen right here. Picture the Christmas mornings around the tree. And we have everything with the hand-me-downs. An icebox, a blender. They, they even gave us...
Wow, that area is dead. Desolate, the crops are done. A fight took place in this vault. Huh? Oh, he dared. And he has a leg gone. Oh, his radiation levels are really high. Raiders. Oh, so they're not the original Vault 32. They took, they came down and took over. Ouch. I think she she got stabbed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, oh! First aid. Drink a health potion. Use the first aid kit. Are you gonna jump in there? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, man. These raiders. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's like, ugh. 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 <laughs> Oh, you fell. Whoa, the way he fell, he skid on his head. Through his head! Pop, 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 pop. Oh, shit! Oh, his whole stomach got sliced open. Oh my gosh. Oh, she gonna die as well. The 3D projection looks like an actual nuclear war is happening. Oh! Oh, in her eye! Ouch. Took the dart to the eye? Like, oh yeah, yeah. Please. Brother, you need to escape. <gasps> it's his face. It's all ripped off. Whoever did the the prosthetics or the makeup for it, that was... Um, that's it, he's down. His whole skin is coming off. Jeez. I think Papa is going to save her. Wait, what? Wait, what wait, what? Why 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 does that have to be a choice? Why is that even a what? You are my world. Why does that have to be a choice? Oh, he's done. You look like your mother. 
<gasps> oh, she. She has something to do with her mom not being around anymore. Okay, I thought the explosion was going to be bigger. No, they definitely had time to kind of get out of the way. Rotten, what an opener. Oh, why are they beating on this man? Why are they beating on this guy? It is the duty of the Brotherhood of Steel to secure the wasteland. Okay, so this is the Brotherhood of Steel. You will help Knights find and identify free war tech. Aspirant Maximus. Can you identify this relic? Is this like a cult? Uh, Rotor? Ow! Circuit, the ability to defend yourself is but one part of your training. We are the finders and the preservers. Unless you know what to find and preserve, you are more useful as a corpse. Call it a relic. That's how long it's been. A circuit. A simple circuit is now a relic. <laughs> Oh, these are the, uh... I forgot the term for them. What kind of model is that? It's the T-60. Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. I legit forgot what they're called. Power armor? I think it's power armor? The Brotherhood. Oh, he was saved by someone in that armor. Aspirin Dane? This was my idea. He You're didn't want... Come with me. What's going on? A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. Hey, what's your title going to be? Squire. Tonight, Titus. And get this, we're going to the wild. Hell yeah! <laughs> Man, looks like his only friend on this camp. Latrine duty, that is just disgusting. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is snapping. Why would you sit next to it? Get away from it, man! What the flip? What the hell? Oh, someone put a razor blade in her boot. I have a proposal for the assembly. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. To the we can spare four people from farm duty for up to two weeks, even with our dwindled uh, numbers. Sorry, Lucy, but you're talking about opening the outer vault door? Just for under a minute. Hold on I a know we're all hurting right now, but our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. That means not opening any of our doors. Well said, Betty. Yes. Thank you, Betty. Okay, let's move on. They don't want to find Dad. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. Take care of Norm. To my back. Okay. I can't. I'm going with you. Chet. What you're doing is insane. You don't even know which way to go. It isn't like the vault out there. It's big. I'm not letting anyone else get hurt on my behalf. Him home. 
Time for a grand adventure. Time to leave the Great Plateau and go out into the world of Hyrule. Um, this is amazing it looks legit apocalyptic like they did such a good job on this with the team I can't believe they took him out like why would they think it's him who got Dane why did you join the brotherhood to hurt the people who hurt me? He escaped hiding in a fridge. As for Dane. Yes. You're aware of their injury? Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Your fellow Aspirin say... It was you. Rotted. They really don't like this guy, do they? No, I, 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 I wouldn't. Why not? Your friend was promoted. You were not. You have ambitions, don't you? I, I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? Yes. Yes. Do you have anything else to say? In your defense. I want to thank you for your guidance and for giving me a home. I, I had no place in the world, so if I can help the Brotherhood make it better, Eden or whatever, even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it, and I'd be grateful to the Brotherhood for giving my life meaning. Good boy. And you will be Knight Titus, new squire. And he has been promoted. That's crazy. They're like, oh yeah, you did it. And the other one's like, yeah, he did it, but they didn't like him to begin with. It's not so bad. At least here no one steals your rations. They said I'll still have a place in the Brotherhood. I heard you got my spot. You know who did it? Well, I've narrowed it down to any one of those assholes. <laughs> Aspirin Maximus, it is your most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood. After which, it is your most sacred duty to protect the mission. After which, it is your most sacred duty to protect your lord, Knight Titus. Oh, they're gonna brand him on his back. But oh, that thing's on fire. Oh, man. No. Oh. It is believed that the denizen of the Enclave has escaped. And that he has with him an object of profound potential. That guy. Okay. And the doggo. Damn, their job is to carry that bull. It's definitely that guy. 100% that guy who did it. To a Dane. I feel it. What? It's a baby leg. It's a baby toy leg. <laughs> what the hell? Bingo. Shit. You're telling me this supreme badass we're looking for is a godforsaken mutant? Hell, some respect. Uh. Oh, you said you knew this guy. I said I knew of him. 
Pop worked with him once. Your Pop? How long has this asshole been moldering in the ground? How do we know he's not feral? That is why we brought <laughs> our little friend. Feral goo can't abide a chicken. If he goes for him, we kill him. Nothing in there. Oh no, forget what I said. Oh, it's this guy from the trailer. Well, well, well. Why, this is an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo. Just the weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Huncho. Now you don't even know us. No. I do not. <laughs> a bounty came down. A huge one. Enough to be a last score for me and whoever's with me. Yeah, now somebody made a run from the Enclave. Oh, it makes you think I'd give a good goddamn about that. It ain't where they's running from. I Figured you'd be interested in is where they's running to. That witch, Moldave. Moldave. In California. The Raiders. That's where you from, ain't it? Yeah, it's the same guy from the opening. And what the fuck would you know about where I'm from? It's the same guy from the opening, yeah. Well, that don't sound like gratitude, do it, boys? How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years? Whenever somebody says they do it one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. Probably never was. But for me, well, I do this shit for the love of the game. Oh! Oh, you dead. Oh, you dead? You dead? <gasps> His whole head! His whole head! His whole head, man! Well, damn! What a first episode! The pieces have been put in play for some absolute madness that's gonna go down. Okay, so that was the first episode for the Fallout TV show titled The End superbly interesting i always find it really cool when you go into especially one of these tv shows especially as you see nowadays where a lot of video games are being adapted into tv shows you saw it with the last of us you saw sonic uh, where knuckles is getting his own tv show um and just like the different media being put into tv shows but it's even more gratifying i think when you don't have too much experience with the original media for me in this case would be the fallout game so this is actually my first proper trying to understand fallout its world its universe its characters and it's pretty freaking crazy it is nuts it's a dog eat dog world we got lucy here from vault 32 33 um she was doing a marriage exchange with 33 however 33 was a complete desolate place and they came and took over. They were actually raiders from the surface. Her dad's been kidnapped. They just messed up the whole place. So she's going to go look for her dad. We have Maximus, who's part of the Brotherhood, who's this nation where they're trying to uh, bring, I guess, peace to the world in some sort of another. Uh, he's obviously had a pretty crazy start with being accused of hurting Dane and now being appointed um, a knight. So he's going to go on his mission as well. And lastly, we have the ghoul, who's a mutant. He's the guy from the beginning of the episode, I guess, when the nuclear bombs went off, the explosions, he got affected and turned into a mutant. He was in a grave this whole time, which was pretty crazy. A lot of cool pieces are in play at the moment, and I'm pretty sure sooner than later, these characters are going to clash at some point. Great first episode, looking forward to checking out the rest of them. Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy this? Are you a fan of the Fallout games? Could you care less? Let me know down in the comments below. 
please of course click like leave a comment subscribe to the channel i'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button please take a few seconds go below down below the video hit subscribe we will be getting more of the fallout tv show reactions as quickly as we possibly can all the episodes are already out now we have other tv show reactions already up anime reactions game trailer reactions previews reviews there's content almost all the time so please do go below hit subscribe thank you so much in advance for more awesome content on the channel i'd recommend this next video here and i'll see you there shortly peace